Hey guys, I've had quite a few requests to do a update on my ground station. So here it is. Um, I have done a video on how you put all of this together in great detail and why you use all the components and how much they cost uh, and a lot more. If that's the video you're interested in, then I'll put a link to that in the video description and I'll put it up on the screen now. In this video, what I'm gonna be covering is moving to this new version of the Pepper Box, um, the monitor tripod mount up there, uh, the True RC Gatling, and also at the end I'll talk about the Diversity Controller, the Diversity Demon, uh, which is now discontinued, and I'll talk about the uh, options that are available today. So first of all, uh, as you can see, the major change for my ground station is I have moved to the third version of the VAS Pepper Box. I'll turn that around so you can see what it looks like from the front. So. The first version of the Pepper Box is the one that I used to have. Um, the second version uh, that they made was exactly the same form factor as the first one, um, but there was a slightly increased spec with, I think, slightly higher gain, and they called it the Pepper Box Extreme. Then came the third version, which was this, uh, and this has, I believe, the same performance stats as the second version, the Extreme but just in a much smaller and lighter form factor. So this here with all of the gear on it, this weighs 1.1 kilograms. Whereas when all of this gear was mounted to my V1 pepper box, uh, it'll weigh 2.2 kilograms. So you can see that's quite a weight saving there. And that is the reason I switched to this version of the pepper box. A lot of people have asked me if I've noticed a difference in performance, and the honest answer is no. Uh, I never really expected to, because it was meant to be a small difference in performance. Uh, and the main reason I moved, as I said, was for the form factor. So it's nice and small and light in comparison. Maybe if we did a side-by-side -side, uh, with this antenna versus one of the older versions, you might notice a difference. Um, but from just flying this one uh, after being used to the first version, I've not noticed a difference. So moving the electronics over was a fairly simple task, just popping them off the old one. And I think I've just hot glued them all in place here. Um, I did have to uh, rotate the diversity demon um, because of the lack of space on the back of this one compared to the old one, uh, which meant I had to cut some of the cables and resolder them to a, a decent length. Um, another change I've made is I have use the Partum receiver here. I used to have two ready-made receivers, but I'm using a Partum now for my Omni antenna, and I'll come back to the reason for that shortly. And you see another change here is, uh, I used to be using the VAS uh, Bluebeam, um, but I've now switched it to this TrueRC Singularity, mostly because these are super durable, but they're also really good performing antennas. I was finding with these kind of wiry antennas, I was just flattening them when transporting in the car, that kind of thing. So the next small update is this monitor holder, which I designed for my tripod. It is designed for one of these Eachin uh, monitors and you can just see it just slides off here like this and will fit, I guess, any, uh, any of the monitors that have this kind of mounting rail on the back. So it just slides on here like that. Um, I designed mine obviously for the diameter of my tripod. So if you do want to use this same part, you might just need to adjust the diameter of that hole there. I'll put a link to um, this on Thingiverse in the video description so you can download and print one of them for yourselves. The nice thing about these monitors is they do have a 5.8 receiver built into them and they also have a battery built into them. So actually they don't need to be connected to any of the electronics on here uh, to work. Uh, it just receives the 5.8 image from uh, the repeater that you have there. Uh, in terms of the battery, it does last quite long, but if you're lazy like me and you don't want to uh, remember to charge it before you go, then it does come with this cable. So as long as you have one of these on your PDB, you know, you can just power your monitor from the from the ground station and it will just last all day then. Okay, and on to this antenna here. So this is the True RC Gatling. 
Um, probably the best antenna that there is if you want to do low flying behind trees and objects. Uh, and that is when I use this antenna. So for general flying, I tend to only bring this with me. I don't normally take this antenna, but if I'm gonna be doing uh, a special mission where I'm flying really low uh, behind objects and it's gonna be tricky on the video, then I'll take this one along with me. So if I just turn this round, Okay, so you can see on the back here, I have a ready-made receiver. And that brings me, I guess, onto uh, the change here. So we used to have two of the ready-made receivers on the back here. Um, but what I decided when I introduced this Gatling is I wanted to use the better receivers, which is the ready-made receivers. Um, I wanted to use them for my directional antennas. Um, because obviously when I'm using the Omni, I'm not really that far away or flying behind objects, so it doesn't really matter so much. So the way I use this antenna here is I've got a nice long cable coming from here, the power and video cables. And the Diversity Demon actually has three ports for receivers. So I've already got one and two in use. So this is my pepper box. This is my Omni antenna. And then basically what I do is, if I bring this uh, Gatling along, all I have to do is plug those two in there, powers the receiver, and then hooks up the Gatling to my diversity demon. So then I've actually got three-way diversity. So this brings me on to the last part, which is the fact that this diversity demon has been discontinued. And unfortunately, so has the Eagle Tree Eagle Eyes, which was the other popular diversity controller people were using. Occasionally you will see them come up for sale second hand, but as far as I'm aware, the only diversity controller you can get for 1.3 gigahertz at the moment is the Clearview XLR, um, which is a slightly different product because it actually combines the diversity controller and two receivers into one small box. So yeah, that would be really nice and compact and light in comparison to this setup, but unfortunately, the Clearview costs 550 US dollars plus postage, and it's also built to order, so there is a lead time of around 10 days. So just to do a comparison, this Demon and the two ready-made receivers uh, would have cost around the $300 mark. I can't vouch for the performance of the Clearview XL yet. Um, I've never had one or seen one in use. However, my flying buddy is about to order one, so what we will do at some point in the near future is uh, we will get a recording of a flight using both my ground station and his, and we'll do a nice side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, I think that's it for the update. If I have missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, same for any questions, and I will try and get back to you. Thanks for watching.